The sensory room is located at section 212, just behind fan services, and what fans will find in the sensory room is a soothing and calming atmosphere. I'm just relaxing. For us, it's really important because my son has issues with regulating his body temperature, and so when it's really hot or there's a lot of people that creates even more heat, He's able to go there when he overstimulates because of that heat, and it's just a cool place that he can relax, calm himself, so that we can then go back to the game and watch it from our own seat. My favorite part of the sensory room is the walls, and the walls make different colors. That's cool. The sensory room is equipped with textured walls, activity walls, beanbag chairs, low lighting, muted television, um, and really a great place for folks who are feeling overwhelmed uh, to come and decompress. Get you? Yeah. yeah. Holden has issues with his hips, so we're able to go in the sensory room, take a break, he can get out of his chair, relax, then when he's ready, he can go back in his chair and back out in the stands with his pants. Makes me feel like that I'm very uh, included and it feels very relaxing. It's really important for the Toronto Blue Jays to have a sensory room because we are committed to providing a safe, welcoming, inclusive experience for all fans in the ballpark. I like to come to Blue Jays game now because of sensory room. Go Blue Jays!